Turkey, to the Northeast, I can see Iraq and Jordan. I can see Iran. I can see uh, Georgia above that, above Syria, above Turkey. I know the players. I know who's in Lebanon. I know what percentage is Christian in Lebanon, which percentage is Coptic, which percentage uh, is Orthodox, which percentage is, ca is Catholic. I, I mean, and, and, and I'm sitting there. I mean, the most of these lazy CIA people, only analysts know this type of stuff, even at the CIA. They're so incredibly lazy. I, I'm not saying I'm, I'm anybody special, except that I don't know all the baseball scores. I don't know what Mickey Mantle pitched in 1945 or whenever he was playing baseball. I don't know what Babe Ruth's favorite dinner was. Actually, I was. I saw a painting or a photo in a hotel talking about his favorite thing to eat in the hotel. Uh, so I guess I do know what his favorite food is. The point is, I wish I didn't know that. That is wasted space in my brain. And you bet, I'm a maniac, ladies and gentlemen. I am totally sick and tired of knowing what's going on and seeing these people lie to us. And I'm going to stop ranting. I'm going to settle down right now. Justice Department launches covert sanctions against gun owners. Media denial is part of disinformation campaign. The U.S. Department of Justice is currently attacking the Second Amendment by fiat while constantly denying its abuse despite clear evidence to the contrary. I told you day one from our sources that Fast and Furious was done to blame the Second Amendment. And you know how I knew before I even had sources? In 2009, we played these on the air. We have Attorney General Holder and Big Sis and all of them at press conferences bragging how they have a gun tracking program into Mexico showing why we need to restrict the Second Amendment because guns from the Southwest are going into Mexico. And then later they said they'd never heard of the program and it was all made up. We have video of them announcing the program, not just saying that they're the ones shipping the guns in. They just said we're tracing the guns and naming the name of the program. Operation Gunrunner. Fast and Furious is a smaller section. I mean, do you know how frustrating that is? We know they ordered a stand down at Benghazi. We know they're taking giant energy deals and giving billions to their friends to launder it back in the Democratic Party in an attempt to extinct the Republican Party forever. And again, if they're able to extinct the Republican Party, there's not even that fake opposition. They don't even have to act like there's something going on. And it'll all be race politics here on out, race war with Homeland Security playing the part of the referee between the imploding civilization. Now I'm going to settle down. I really need to settle down and go to break. And I'm going to come back and get into May Day, the communist holiday. Do you know where it comes from? Well, it comes from the ancient Druids. And they picked it up because it was cross-culture exchanges from Tyre on the Mediterranean where they would burn children to idols. This is a National Geographic fact. This is Mainline Encyclopedia Britannica. I'm going to let you know all about the religion of our owners. And of course it's a religion of killing children because they're predators. And they enjoy what they do to us. So that's all coming up today, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're going to be breaking down. And then Tosh Plumley's coming on at the bottom of the hour, correct? All right. And then I've got all this other news I haven't gotten to yet, but it makes me so angry that if they can discriminate against gun shops and sporting goods shops and, and not let any bank give them a bank account, outside of law, just because Obama feels like it, they can do anything. I mean, that is 1937 level Germany. That's what Adolf Hitler did. And it took him five, six years to get going. Up until 1939, we started just arresting everybody. And he started a war, created an internal crisis in Germany, where he could get away with anything he wanted and silence dissent. And that's what they're doing right now in the Middle East and Eastern Europe. They're following the tyrant's road, the tyrant's pathology, the tyrant's modus operandi. 
the tyrant's criminology. And I'm here watching it with abject horror, trying to get people to wake up and get motivated and get in a combat stance to deal with this. Tired of taking handfuls of vitamin pills? Look and feel super with a great tasting lipid vitamin and mineral supplement called Passion for Life. This incredible one ounce daily drink can lead to better stamina and energy due to faster, more complete absorption. Passion for Life contains 135 all natural whole food ingredients. It's the best tasting, most powerful product of its kind on the market. Order now by calling 844 Try Life or find out much more about Passion for Life by visiting 844 trylifecom 844 trylifecom Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed. To do. If you watch, the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. I'm Keisha Rogers. I'm in the Democratic Party runoff for the U.S. Senate on May 27th. For far too long, both parties have been pathetic pawns of Wall Street bankers, insurance companies, and wealthy corporate interests. Both parties. That's why President Obama and the Congress bailed out crooked bankers, but continued to do nothing to help Americans struggling with unemployment, low-wage jobs, foreclosures, killer Obamacare, and a devastating drought. That's why Obama and the Republicans will go to war, but do nothing to help veterans. Most of you already know this. That's why you don't vote. Stop submitting to these criminals. Vote for me, Keisha Rogers, on May 27th. I will fight to impeach Obama, crush Wall Street with Glass-Steagall, and build the Kennedy-era project to bring water from Alaska down to Texas to relieve the drought. We can create millions of industrial and farming jobs. I'm Keisha Rogers, and I authorize this message. Paid for by Keisha Rogers for U.S. Senate. Don't worry. This show is documented. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And, and it, it burns, burns, burns. burns. The ring of fire. If you go to England and other areas, you can go to sites where they have dug up the remains burns, of what they burns, believe to be burns, tens of thousands of people. The ring of fire. You go to one site the and it's basically fire. dead adults and children who had already died of natural causes like Stonehenge. That was a burial site, a burning site. They burned them in ditches in front of it. But you go to other standing stones, they were sacrificial sites. And the most common way to kill people all over Europe 
was to burn them in a large wicker man if it was a male and you wanted to have a right for the summer coming up to have a good harvest, you would burn the strongest man in your tribe. The Aztecs did the exact same thing, basically. The taller you were, they would kill you. That's one reason anthropologists say a lot of uh, Mayans are so short. Well, the same stuff went on in Europe. Uh, but in different times of the year, though, uh, when they would herald a midway in spring, it was a sign of fertility, so uh, the Aztecs would kill women and pregnant women, throwing them into pools of water. Uh, the Europeans liked to burn little kids. The Aztecs cut their hearts out, and then the priest class sold their meat uh, below the pyramids as the main source of protein. Well, the, uh, the different dru uh, Druidic and Gaelic cultures, uh, they would simply um, burn them. That's where you get bonfire is a bone fire. So I wanted you to know what May Day was, and this is from the encyclopedia. May Day, May 1st, is an ancient northern hemisphere spring festival and usually a public holiday. It's what the communists uh, celebrate as their day. It is also a traditional spring holiday. It coincides with International Workers' Day, and in many countries that celebrated uh, the latter, it was referred to as May Day. Dances, singing, and cake are usually part of the celebrations of that day includes. Traditional... Uh, May Day celebrations are the Celtic Festival of Beltane and the Germanic Festivals of Walpurgis Night. And it is the midway through the spring. And it goes through the different human sacrifices done in each country. Uh, but Beltane was the uh, Gaelic sacrifice of children in bone fires. And all households had to light the fires, uh, but uh, at the central fires, they would uh, burn children and others. So just wanted you to know where it comes from. So, so let's uh, fast forward. Uh, the uh, Middle East centers did this as well. Tyre, other areas. It's in Leviticus. It's in Genesis. Uh, the burning of the children. Now, let's fast forward to 1776. Revolution is in the air worldwide. The Masonic order is moving in the United States along with Christian groups and others, but they want to control it. With George Washington and others who spoke out against the Illuminati later and against the Jacobins. So you could say he was a good Mason. It's like any group is good and bad. And you've seen me on History Channel with a special on that, breaking it down as an expert. And I'm just giving you a gestalt right now. This is so huge and complex. But the Jacobin Society was the French name of the Illuminati, founded in 1776, uh, two years after our revolution. It really already started. We're told 1775. It really started the year before. But officially, 1776, July 4th. Well, the Illuminati wanted to hijack this and control revolutions. That was their whole program. They knew revolutions against old forms of corruption, a corrupt church, uh, a decadent royalty. They wanted to not overthrow that to create equity. They wanted to overthrow that. And we have the Illuminati documents because a, a, a post writer got struck by lightning in Bavaria, so we got it. And they admitted it was real. That's why it's in the encyclopedia. That they would actually overthrow the entire order, go to a nine-day work week, abolish the family, and that everything was just about their small group having absolute dominion to murder, slaughter, drink blood, kill everybody. And that's what the French Revolution was. Just murder, kill, death, slaughter, rape, Satan worship, nine-day work week, changing the calendar, overthrowing reality, a boot stomping on the face forever, a.k.a. George Arwell. Winston is being tortured by the Jacobins. 1984 is an occultic, communist, Jacobin revolution where society is about being ugly and evil and torturing, not about having virtue, is what O'Brien tells him. This is the system. And so the Illuminati with the Jacobins, oh, this is, this is like mainline history. This is not my opinion. This is in history books. Just no one knows it. Just like people, people think Iran is Al-Qaeda when it's the opposite group. Saudi Arabia is Al-Qaeda. So all of that is going on, and now they're using Al-Qaeda as like their, their Jacobin society to stir up trouble, bring down societies, create the crisis, so they can come in. A.K.A. Episode 1, 2, and 3 of Star Wars, where the Emperor stages attacks against himself to bring in a police state. I mean, it's very simple how they create order out of chaos. And George Washington said the Illuminati's trying to take over masonry. We've got to stop them. The Jacobins are evil. The French Revolution is evil. And he stopped them in America, or we would never have had any basic freedom. So that's May Day, folks.
We're on the mark.